Hi, my name is Jennifer Fernandez. I'm a teacher librarian and a technology teacher at Lynn Phillips Elementary. And my name is Joe Duclo. I teach grade five at Lynn Phillips Elementary as well. So today what we worked on, we gave them a couple of design challenges. And the design challenge that this one is, is they had to create something that would launch the straw. Uh, the constraint they had is that it had to have a hole and then it had to use the elastic to launch it. So this is from a couple of girls in the class. They made the launcher here and I believe from their design they would have to loop it onto here and then pull back and launch the straw like that. Um, also around the school we're working on uh, something called Heritage Fair. So we're Five of our grade four or five divisions are um, using, or will be using, the 3D printer to design an artifact to go along with something to do with Canadian heritage. So it's kind of a cross-curricular project to include uh, social studies and language arts. And so uh, one of Mr. Duclos' students has actually made a soupy train to go along with his, um, with his heritage fair. So I don't know if you guys can see that at all. But uh, this is our, our kind of first design that we tried to get printing uh, this last month. And we ran into a couple hiccups because the train, uh, the wheels did not support the box that goes on top of it. So we ended up with kind of a bit of a mess on our platform there, twice actually. Um, but then he went back and he did his redesign. So um, we haven't printed it yet, but we've redesigned twice now. So we're hoping that this last redesign will, will actually work. But um, all the students in Mr. Duclos' class has had the opportunity to build an artifact to go with their heritage fair. So everything from NHL, um, kind of hockey designs to uh, the train, I think, what were some of the other yeah. ones? Sir John A. Macdonald, the Iron Workers Memorial Bridge. Everything kind of BC and Canadian. Yeah, so that's one of the ways that we've kind of connected our 3D printer within our curriculum um, so far. Uh, my goal is to have our expert here, Mr. Duclo, have his students um, really help all around the school and maybe we could get them helping with getting our kindergartens 3D printing, coming up with a design and kind of showing them how or um, collaborating to get an idea of what to make and then putting it for them on the 3D printer and then they can all kind of watch it come to life. So one of the things that I really enjoy about the 3D printing is that the students are so much more apt to take risks. They're not worried about making mistakes or um, it really gets them into that sort of frame of mind of thinking, well, what can I do to create and take chances and, you know, it might not work out the first time, but I get chances to fix it. Um, the future with 3D printing, there's lots of industry and um, jobs that's going to be using that in the future. So it just gives a kids a chance in the school, in my classroom, to problem solve, to create, to make things, and, um, and they're way more engaged um, creating with a 3D printer than drawing something just on a piece of paper. So it's, it's a neat way, not all kids are artists with a pencil, some kids can be artists creating with the 3D printer. Yeah, and I, I kind of add to that that they are also go through the design process. So they come up with their idea, they ideate, and then they can go through and build something that they can't create on like in regular life they might not be well they might not have the tools to create so here at school they can create the thing that can help them at home or they can create the gift for mom that they wouldn't be able to go to the store and, and buy or something to make their life or our life in the classroom easier they have the opportunity to get that so you have kids that don't necessarily shine academically in some areas that really shine with the 3D printer. Yeah. Like they are engaged and they're excited and to see their print go up on and come to life is everything for them. So it's really important I think that those kids really um, continue on with the 3D printing. And like Mr. Duclos said, or Joe said, um, a lot of the jobs that these kids are gonna have, they don't even exist yet. So if we can touch on getting them involved in the digital world, the 3D printing world, who knows what they can do with this in the next 20 years and where it's gonna go. Mm -hmm.